Uh, another really amazing part of the Islamic narrative, which aims to show and evidence its uh, authenticity, is the predictions in the Quran and in the Sunnah. Now, I'll just give you one example today. You know, in the Quran, chapter 30 of the Quran talks about the Romans. At the time of the Prophet, there were two major empires, the Roman Empire and the Persian Empire. Both of these empires were in constant combat with each other, trying to uh, overtake one another in military warfare. What happened really was, the Romans had been on the brink of complete annihilation. And this is in Western history books as well, it's called the Roman uh, Persian Wars. Furthermore now, the Quran came in this chapter, chapter 30, verse number 1 and 2, and says, Alif Lam Mim Ghulibat Rum, chapter verse 3, Fi Edna Al Ard, in a nearby land. That the Romans have been defeated in a nearby land. And that it, they will come back and after their defeat will be victorious. Fi Birdra'i Sinin, in uh, within 10 years. Within 10 years. Now, this is a very, very interesting thing. And it's a very, very confident thing to say. In fact, I just want you to think about one thing for a second. If someone had made a prediction like that, and it did not come true, and it did not come true, how much would this undermine the authority of the author, or the, in this case, the Prophet Muhammad, if he is indeed the author? So, this is such a confident prediction which did materialize and interestingly enough the Quran goes further and says that that day the believers would be rejoicing be happy and coincidentally you could say if you're a disbeliever coincidentally that was the same day the, days, uh, the day when the Romans beat the Persians when the Muslims had defeated their Mushrikeen or the pagan Arabs uh, in Badr according to the classical exegesis and the historical timeline. So from this perspective there was two reasons for Muslims to be rejoicing. The first of which was that the Romans who they had a closer relationship with had been victorious but also that they themselves had been victorious. What a prediction! What a prediction! And what accuracy! And think once more. How could this accuracy be so finely, so finely precise in this, in this instance? 